Welcome, welcome to Chianji Flow. Today we're going to begin our flow with a little bit of bouncing just to get a little warmed up. So with the feet shoulder width apart and the shoulders relaxed and a smile on your lips, let's start to bounce. Breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth as we bounce, letting the arms and wrists move freely. Bouncing at your own rhythm, maybe bouncing a little faster today. How's that sound? The breath, trying to breathe out for a couple of seconds longer than you breathe in. up over the heads, continuing to bounce, letting the hands move freely, just activating those energy points in your wrists, opening all the energy channels in your head, neck, your shoulders, your chest, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And then bring the hands down. Now let's sway a little left and right, tapping on the side of the ribs, the front arm as it comes across the body. And then the back hand tapping in the center of the spine, the height of the navel. And then coming to rest. Okay, let's begin with the eight brocades. Let's sweep the arms up over the head and interlock the fingers, press the palms to the sky, lifting the heels off the ground and then releasing the breath, coming back down. Breathing in. Holding the breath as you raise the palms, lifting the chest and Press up and then release the breath as you come down. Two, three, ah. Release the breath. You can make a little sound that kind of helps release completely. A little ah or ha, or whatever comes naturally. Just let go. Ah. Using the breath to help you get the most out of the stretch. Okay, bring the hands back down to the sides. Let's open the legs wide, the double wide stance, the horse stance. Point the toes open. Bring the arms together, making fists. Now with the left hand, make an L shape with the index finger and the thumb. The right hand. Raise the elbow, look left. We're going to draw the bow and drop down as we look left. And then we rise back up. Arms back together, making the L with the right hand, raising the left elbow, looking right, dropping down. And now alternating. Keep the back straight, not swaying the butt up. Then dropping down to the level that feels right.
Let's do one more. Okay. Bring the feet back together now. We're going to do the side stretching movement. As we breathe in, we raise the hands, pressing the right palm to the sky, left palm to the floor. Stretching the whole right side. Now breathing in, we windmill the hands in a circular motion, bringing the left hand the height of the ear, the right hand halfway up the ribs, and now press left hand up, right hand down. Breathing in, switching hands, right hand at the height of the ear, left hand at the side of the ribs, and press. And now we alternate, breathing in, and breathing out. Ah, feeling a good stretch on the whole side. So now we're going to open the hands facing forward, breathing in, turning the head to look over the left shoulder gently. You can look to the side, but if you can, you can look back over the shoulder. And then as you exhale, bring the hands towards the Lord Yun Tian. And then breathing in, turning to the right side, looking over the right shoulder. Exhaling back to center. Inhaling, opening, slow stretch, gradually getting a little more out of each movement. to return to the wide horse stance, <laughs> placing the hands on the quads, relaxing the shoulders. As we breathe in, we're going to circle down to the left, and as we exhale, coming back up to the right. Breathing in, now going down the other way to the right, <clears throat> and back up to the left. When you go down, you're trying to get your chest parallel to the floor, not go any further down than that. And as you're doing the movement, you are shaking your tail, you're moving your butt, and you're also swaying your head. Breathing in.
come back, bring our feet close together. The next movement, we're going to start with the hands on the kidneys. Then we're going to bend forward, brushing the hands down the backside of the legs, reaching for the feet. Bring the hands around the inside, coming up the inside of the legs now. As we exhale, wrapping the hands back to the kidneys and arching gently backwards. Breathing in, brushing down the backside. Breathing out, brushing out the inside leg brace. Two. As you arch back, be careful not to overextend neck bend. Stance, dropping down, placing the fist on the top of the hip bones. Let's tap a little there. Now we're going to throw alternating punches, starting with the right side, then the left. Exhale on the punch and then inhale on the turn. Concentrating, looking forward. Press the energy down. Okay, straightening the legs as we sweep the arms up. The height of the shoulders, bring the hands in, and then bending the knees slightly as you press the energy down. When you get to the waist, opening. Sweeping the hands up, folding the hands in, and now pressing the hands down. Great. Now we're going to raise. 
place both hands up together and then bring them down. Same thing as you come down, bending the knees a little bit. And as you breathe in, coming up, straightening the legs a little half a step with our left leg with our hands parallel palms facing to the floor parallel to the floor and make a circle with the left hand so you lean on the left leg the hand goes out comes back around in a circle for one two it's like you're skinning your hand on the top of the water in the ocean and swimming three after three you bring your feet together you take a half step with the right leg. You lean on the right side, the hand going out. One, feeling the chi, the palm of the hand. Two, three. Now you take the right leg and you bring it behind the left leg. And you raise the hands up, looking left. Okay, so both the knees are bent. The left hand is up. Right hand is under supporting. Now we swing the hands to the right side and back for one. When you come back, you press. Two, press. Three. Now we step back with the right leg and switch. The left leg comes behind and the hands come to the right side. So you have the right hand up, left hand underneath supporting. Now we swing to the left. One, press. Two, press. Your head follows the hands. Three. Now we step back with the left leg. And now the left hand comes behind. The right hand comes in front. Left hand opens behind. Then you turn it in. Like you're holding a plate and then you serve this plate in front like this and then you bring the plate back towards the side inside and then moves to the outside and swings around over the head i know this is complicated the first time but you'll get it and you pass the plate now to the right hand the right hand goes back like you're holding that plate up and then you turn it over Bring it inside out and serve it in front. Then you bring it back into the body. Swing it out around over the head. And now you pass it to the left hand and the left hand goes out. Turns under, comes in front. Comes back towards the body, goes back and then around the outside, swing it over the head. Pass it to the right hand. Right hand goes out, serving the plate in front. Bringing it back, spinning it around the top of the head. And one last time, the right on the left side. <laughs> Now, when you finish spinning the plate, you bring both hands together at the side, put the hands out, bring them back to the body underneath, and then both go back and around and cross in front over the head, and then come back to center. So push the hands out, bring them back in, behind, around, over the top crossing for two and one out back for three now you bring your feet together hands covering the lower belly breathing in opening breathing out 
covering the belly. Breathing in, open. Breathing out, closing. One more. Breathing in, open. Breathing out, closing. Now you make the goose beak with the hands. The goose beak is bringing all five fingers together. You bring it up the side, under the armpits, opening the chest, looking up. And then you unfold the hands in front. As you come down, making the goose beak again, breathing in, gathering it up the side. Hold the breath a second. And release to. And again, as you come up, straightening the legs, breathing in. And then as you release, bending the legs slightly as you go back down. We're gonna do that three times. Let's do it again just because we're practicing it for the first time. Breathing in. Looking up and releasing. Sweep the arms up again to shoulder height. Press the energy down, bending knees slightly. As you exhale, breathing in, gathering the energy, bringing it up to center, straightening the legs. Breathing out, pressing the energy back down, bending the legs. some chi, getting the hands nice and hot, placing the palms over the eyes, checking that warmth, love and gratitude to the eyes. Thank you, man. thank you, eyes. Fingers down now to the chin and then pressing up the bridge of the nose across the forehead, down the sides of the cheeks in that heart shape motion. Closing your eyes, visualizing a heart, saying to yourself, I love my face. I love my skin. I love my cheeks. I love my nose. I love my lips. I love my teeth. I love my chin. With the fingertips brushing back to the scalp. Saying to yourself, I love my brain, I love my right brain, I love my left brain. Now forming a cup shape with the hands and cupping from the forehead to the base of the head. Leaving one hand on the forehead, let's cup the base nine times. Massage the ears. Down now, take a relaxing breath. Extending out the left arm, let's cut from the top of the shoulder down the insides of the wrist and then the thumb and then the back of the outside to the top of the shoulder. The inside, wrist, thumb, outside. One more time down the inside. Sing a nice vibration with this cupping back. Switching arms, top of the right shoulder, inside, thumb, outside, inside. Hands to the top of the chest. Let's pat down the chest to the belly.
And let's do some Dan Tien slapping. Another Now under the left armpit, down the side of the face. Leaning forward, tapping on the side. Sorry, the kidneys on the kidneys. Nice vibration to the kidneys. The kidneys, such vital energy organs. Massage the kidney area now, seeing warmth. This arms there, sending love and light and gratitude, projecting that energy from the center of your palms to your kidneys, feeding the palms. Tapping now, tailbone area and lowering down. Up and down between the lower back and the tailbone. Also here, alternating between being gentle and being firm. You can use the back of the hands too. You really want to send a good, solid vibration to the tailbone. Another vital energy point at the tip of the spine. Now tap on the hips this time. In the center where those dimples are, so below the top bone, on the side of the hips. And now cupping the tops of those knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the backs. And the sides of the left knee. And the sides of the right knee. Slowly straightening back up. Interlock the fingers. Let's massage the belly up on the right side, down on the left. Large circles, slow circles, and feeling the warmth in the hands, sending that to the internal organs. With the intention saying to yourself, saying out loud, I love my stomach. I love my liver. Love my pancreas, love my gallbladder, my spleen, love my small intestine, love my large intestine. I love all my reproductive organs. Hands at the sides now, <clears throat> feet close together. Let's bend the knees comfortably, keep the lower back straight, soften the shoulders as we dolphin the neck, breathing in, extending chin, tucking to the chest, exhaling, lifting the imaginary ball as we straighten the neck, and then lean back at the top, and breathing in, extending and tucking, breathing out, lifting, straightening, leaning back, and the intention, the intention is that I am opening, opening, opening all the energy channels in my head, neck, shoulders, upper chest, open, open, open. Energy channels are completely open. The energy blockages are gone, they are completely gone. Now, supporting the lower back, soften the whole spine, spin the knees bent, shoulders relaxed, bending at the waist as you extend the chin, tuck chin to chest, press knees forward, and waist and chest rolling back up. One vertebrae at a time, flexing the whole spine. Sending love and appreciation to the spine as you massage each and every vertebrae. Thank you. 
A now bring feet back to the beginning of the universe position, shoulder width apart. Let's raise the hands up to shoulder height, elbows below the hands, knees bent. While facing forward, face chest, looking forward, let's swing left and right. to waist height, continue swinging. And then bring the hands together, together, hands at the sides, rather feet together. The heel drop nine times to conclude. Thank you for your practice today. Look forward to practicing with you again soon.